in the development of her character, um, she played a role because you know her voice is so distinctive. But she had been doing a stand-up comedy. Um, she had developed a persona in her stand-up comedy, which was, she called it the domestic goddess, where she wasn't a working woman at all. She stayed home. She was lazy. It was a funny persona, you know, and hey, if my husband comes home and the kids are still alive, I've done my job. You know, it was very funny. It was very uh, outrageous and sardonic and fabulous. It wasn't anything like the working class heroine that we kind of turned her into, you know. We took it at 180 degrees around, still with that great voice, but just turning it around to, to um, another another way of life and another character. Um, but her voice was very much part of that. Her attitudes and her comedy were, were very much a part of the formation of that character. But the show was, uh, she was just cast into the show. The script was written, um, you know, the, the intention of the show was there. Uh, we just, we cast her. And I remember a meeting we had with her where, because she had never done any acting. And we said, um, Okay, do you think you're up to this, like being the, the, the center of a show? We described what the show would be. She went, cool, you know, and, <laughs> and what we wanted the show to accomplish, you know, to talk about the absurdity and the craziness and the wonderfulness and awfulness of being a working mom in America today. She said, cool, that sounds great. I'd love to do that. And, and we said, we looked her in the eye and we said, do you think you're up to it? Because it's the center of a half hour comedy. And she went, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm up to it. I'm fucking Gleason. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, we believed her, and, and, you know, she was right. And, yes, she needed the support of a wonderful cast, and, and, and um, you know, she was very, as she later described herself, she was a rube. She didn't understand. She came out of a trailer and whatever uh, in the recent past, and she didn't understand how you behave and what your job is as a professional on a set. So she was difficult to work with, but she was brilliant. What kind of problems did you have? Oh, just all kinds. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling matches. <laughs> As Marcy well, said, she was brilliant. But um, I think that celebrity is a very uh, complicated uh, proposition. And she, she came into this uh, situation and out of nowhere became probably the most uh, popular woman in America overnight. And it was difficult, and I think that we always had issues with her about uh, the development of the of the script, and there was a lot of tension on that sh on that set, which was completely different than the Cosby Show. The Cosby Show was we didn't heaven. have we didn't have an argument with Bill for the run of the show, not one argument. He was but heaven from the very beginning. Um, Roseanne called me. We, we we did what we thought was a wonderful pilot, as as pilots go, and sometimes. Pilots aren't perfect, but as pilots go, this was a really it was it was like an A plus as as a twenty two minute piece of film to sell a series, and we were editing it, and we were just feeling so great because we thought that we were we had something that really was valuable and about something, and Roseanne called me during the editing, and said that uh, she hated the experience and she was going to quit and she wasn't going to do the series. And it was like a blow to the stomach because we're just actually in the editing room watching something that we think is going to be really special. And I don't know whether she meant it for that moment or was was trying to get something for it, but it, there was there was too much tension on that show, and it was never appropriate. Well, soon after that, she called. I was in Cape Cod on vacation, and uh, she had her agent call to say that um, unless we fired seven people, the director, the head writer, the whatever, I mean, just seven random people. She didn't even know them that well. We'd only done one or two episodes or something that she was going to leave the show. So, and then they, and, and this uh, agent of hers got ABC on the phone, this guy at ABC who was uh, head of comedy programming or series programming at the time, um, thinking that they could leverage the ABC guy over us. So I just said, well, tell her goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean it? Absolutely. We were not going to be blackmailed into firing people that we have contracts with who are doing a fabulous job. Um, and the ABC guy backed, backed me up. The ABC guy was outraged, too. So She yeah. always was playing uh, chicken with us. Yeah. So she came back, obviously.